Hey everyone, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Edvotech micro pipetter for lab. So let's get started. Here we have the Edvotech micro pipetter. This is a P1000 micro pipetter, which means that it is accurate between 100 to 1000 microliters. Remember that a thousand microliters is a milliliter. So this pipetter, this one right here, is accurate again between 100 and 1000 microliters, which means 0.1 to 1 milliliters. To set it, you have to look at the dial on the side. This is the dial that indicates the volume setting of this particular micro pipetter. The lowest setting, if we turn this dial at the top, you see this gray dial, uh, the lowest setting on this micro pipetter would be zero, one, zero, zero, which means 100 microliters. The highest setting on this micro pipetter would be if we advance it, you have to turn for a while, Eventually, you reach, oh, roll the odometer over here, here we go, one, zero, 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 that is a thousand microliters. So right now, the micro pipetter is set to one milliliter or 1,000 microliters. Please keep in mind, this is the maximum setting for this micro pipetter, and the minimum setting was what we were at. Zero, one, zero, zero. If you are at zero, one, zero, zero, you want to work your way up to one milliliter. If you're already closer to one milliliter, you want to work your way down to 0.1 milliliters. So uh, make sure that you pay attention to what setting you're at. Uh, if you're lower than the volume you want, you need to go up to the volume you want. If you're higher than the volume you want, you want to go down. Okay, this is something else that's kind of unique to these pipetmen. I have not seen these on other pipetmen, but you see this little gray dial right here. This little gray dial is a lock. So when you push that down, it locks the pipetmen. I have not seen this on other pipetmen. You see, now I can't turn my dial. That's a lock setting. So the manufacturers, uh, recommend that when you have set your micro pipetter that you lock it in place and then use it uh, and then when you're ready to change the volume you push this little notch up you push that button up and that allows you to freely choose a new setting let's say I want 950 microliters I would set it to 950 microliters and then engage the lock again so just keep that in mind if you're trying to turn it and it's not budging, don't force it, you will break it. You know, uh, undo the lock to change the volume, then push down on the lock to lock it so that you don't lose your setting when you're doing the actual pipetting. So that's how it works. Let me show you how to actually aliquot. Let's say I want to aliquot 500 microliters of this solution into another test tube. Don't forget, you can use China markers, which are essentially wax pencils, in order to write uh, on, on test tubes. So I could write test tube one here. Um, I could write test tube two or three or whatever you want to do, A, B, C. Um, there's two. Uh, my handwriting is pretty terrible today, but that's fine. I can see what I want, to, uh, and that's tube three. All right, so. I've now marked my tubes one, two, and three. I want to put, let's say, 500 microliters in from tube one into tube two. How do I do that? First of all, I take my micro pipetter, and remember, it might be locked. Uh, right now, it's not locked, but remember, it might be locked. If it's locked, unlock it. Then let's see what I'm at. Let's say I want 500 microliters. What am I at now? It looks like I'm at, I'm at about 934 microliters. So. I need to go down to 500 microliters. Does that make sense? Let's go downwards. And again, it will take a little while. You have to spin pretty fast. And let's get it exactly to 
500 microliters. Once I'm at 500 microliters, 0500, I, I will lock it. See, push the tab to lock. You can see that it locked the, uh, the, the setting in place. Now, I need a tip. I always use a fresh tip when I want to aliquot solutions. I, do ne I never uh, dip this uh, micropipetter into a solution without a sterile tip. Uh, these tips are usually sterilized, and you will open this up, micropipette tips. These are the one, P1000 micropipette tips. Go ahead and open that up, give it a couple taps, and there you go. There is your micropipette tip. And then go ahead and close that box. Now here's the trick to pipetting. There are two stops on the plunger. Look at the plunger here, right? When I push, the plunger stops. However, if I push harder, watch this, it goes further. Did you guys see that? There are two stops. Stop one and stop two. Here's what you do. When you want to suck up solution, when you want to aspirate solution, you push until the first stop and then no further. Okay, you push to the first stop. So now let's aspirate. Let's take our solution here. Okay, again, I've kept my finger on the first stop. I then make sure to submerge my tip into the solution. And then what do I do? Gently let go of the plunger, gently let up. And what do I see? I slowly let up and there you go. That's 500 microliters of solution in my tip. And you can clearly see that the solution is in the tip. So let me put test tube one down. Let me grab test tube two. And what do I do? I gently touch the side of the pipette. Sorry, you can see here. I just touch the side to the glass and then I very gently push down. Now watch, I push down to the first stop and that evacuates most of the solution, but then I push down to the second stop and that evacuates the rest of the solution. And without letting go of my thumb, without letting go of my thumb, I remove the tip from the tube, then I remove my thumb, and then there should be no solution left in my tip. And 500 microliters has been aliquoted into tube two. So there you go, I've, I've aliquoted 500 microliters of solution from tube one to tube two. Now, once I've used the tip, I no longer want to use that tip. So I'm going to use the ejector button. This blue button's called the ejector. And I'm going to use the ejector button to eject my tip into a receptacle. I'm just using this glass bowl here, but you will have your own trash receptacle. And the blue button is for ejecting tips. And the gray button I told you is the plunger. Remember, first stop for sucking up, second stop for aliquoting. Okay, and so you can just play with it from there. That's that's pretty much all there is to it. There's really no mystery to this pipette man. Uh, again, let's say I want to add 250 of this solution uh, to tube three. Again, I'm going to unlock unlock this lock button, turn it downwards because I'm at 500. Right, I want to turn it downwards to 250. And remember, the lowest I can go is 100 microliters. So zero, one. Zero, zero. So I went too far. So I want to get to 250. Sometimes it's hard to get exact, but that's about 250. And then I lock it down. Remember at this point, I grab a tip. Got my tip. Remember at this point, I, I push down to the first stop, not the second stop, the first stop. Grab my tube, go into the solution slowly let up on the plunger and there you go you can clearly see the solution in the tip and now I'm going to aliquot that into tube 3 again put it in uh, touch the glass at an angle and then what do I do gently go to stop 1 and then go all the way to stop 2 that's gotten rid of all of the solution I ejected all the solution and then I remove my tip and there you go and don't forget, 
always reuse your disposable, t I mean, always uh, get, fr get a fresh disposable tip every time and eject your old one every time. And that's it. That's really all there is to these pipetters. Um, that is a nice little introduction to the Edvotech micro pipetter. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.